You guys just bought this from Bamboo Labs, the X1 Carbon, and it comes with some black carbon fiber enforced PLA, and it is notorious for having issues. You can see that I am actually printing with it right now. Uh, I also had issues with it, came up with a few solutions, so I just wanted to talk to you on this video about how to uh, make it work a little bit better to make it a little less frustrating for you, hopefully. So the first uh, piece of advice I have is one thing you can actually print is this thing that goes inside the spool because the carbon fiber is actually really light. And this thing that goes in it, I'll show you in a minute and it helps weigh it down to give it some weight to the uh, roll here. So that is helpful. Uh, the other thing that happens is it can get stuck a lot and you either have to push this tab up and pull it back out or uh, the very first time I did it, what I had to do is disconnect the tube from right there, disconnect the white tube and uh, pull it out and then tell it to retract and then it could retract all the way back up to the top. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few examples of it getting stuck when it's trying to feed in and when it was feeding one time it got stuck trying to get through this connection the other time it was actually getting stuck coming through this connection and a uh, sneak peek here is my high-tech fix for it and i'll explain why i did that and show you a little bit of my troubleshooting as i went but you can see it spin now black hope you can see Hopefully it's going to go in okay this time. It's retrying, so I'm just going to hold this here. I hold this one last time and it tried to go through, it worked. Here we got that far this time. All right, sixth time, it's flashing. So that is it has a problem. So there's nothing to pull out because it didn't get stuck all the way in the nozzle like it did for me the very first time. So I'm just gonna hit retry. I'm just gonna hold it at an angle up a little bit this time. this tube. Uh -huh. All right, this time I just held this tube uh, down a little lower angle like that, and then it fed all the way through. So yeah, the carbon fiber one is super finicky about getting through there, but looks like uh, it got in, it's purging out some white, and there is our new black. All right, when this print is over, I'm gonna have the black cord go on the inside of the white here. So this is my temporary fix for right now. I just have this tube taped a little closer to the machine and angled more straight in so that it can auto feed a little better, hopefully. Hey yo, success. The other thing this carbon fiber stuff seems to do is not be able to retract back out. And I think from reading that's because this stuff is light, especially when it gets towards the end of the spool. Um, you know, let me hit retry here and show you what it usually does and looks like. Seems to be retracting it just fine. All right, so in the past, what I had to do when it would not do that is this little blue piece right here, you press in and then you can take this tube out. And when you do that, uh, you'll get the end of the carbon fiber there. And you can just push this forward and pull it straight up to get it started. 
and pull it out of there. So one of the solutions for this, um, I'll put a link to this print. So you can print one of these things. Essentially what it does is it goes through here. You can fill this up with silica beads and it adds weight to the spool. So it will keep it from rocking up because what it was doing before is this whole spool will rock up and it'll hit the top of the AMS or just hang out up here if you don't have the lid on and the motor is not uh, strong enough to get that there. So solution is print one of these, fill it with silica, um, put it in between the spool and with that in there, it's gonna add enough weight to uh, hold it in place and let it retract. Bought these on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description and just kind of fill these things up with the beads. And they screw on snug here and you can drop them in your AMS. Hope that was helpful guys. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I got another video coming out that explains how to set this up for rookies. Uh, there's a lot of really good setup videos out there already, but there is nothing that combines all of the little tips that I found really helpful in my couple of first days of doing this. I had to do a lot of research on my own, just wanted to kind of combine it all into one video. So when that's available, click on this link up here and you'll go check that out. So uh, without further ado, see you guys on the next video.